Hello. Okay, so let me see. Um, first, we are going to be doing a card deck review. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done this in a quite some time, but I decided to do it today. Okay. All right. So this card, um, this card, um, what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be doing a review on the mouse. The moose, the moose tarot de deck. And this is so beautiful. Let me get the lights on. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just so, so beautiful. Whatever is happening, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to figure out which one is better with the lights or without the lights. So I'm doing this review deck today. I think it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful deck. I think it should have gotten the deck, the deck of 2019. It is a wonderful, wonderful deck, whatever is happening in Transparent. I love this deck. This is how it is packed. I already hoped it, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry, but I had to hope it. I think it is so unique. It is a very, very unique deck, okay? So I already opened it, so let's unveil it. This is how it looks. This is the inside of the box cover. And I'm sorry, I'm just one of those people that really, really love a real good hard box. And I would advise people who are creating new decks to do that. So this is what it looks like. I love the inside. Um, Let me um, read what it says. It says... Uh, um. um there is magic in truth. There is truth in my views. Um, where my blood speaks in smooth and my mind has no um, race. And this is absolutely fabulous. There it is. It is a beautiful box, a beautiful message. Now it's from Chris and Chris Ann, okay, and it is the mouse. Um, really, it took a long time to receive it, and I guess it's because of the shutdown. But I waited, I waited, I waited because I just so love the colors. I am just truly one of those people that is really connected with colors, okay? So this is the book. It's a beautiful book. I tried to read the book. It is a beautiful book, and she is Chris Ann. And if you're watching, this is an amazing, amazing deck. Um, this is a soul um, filled with expected, expect magic, um, exploration, and inspiration. And the beautiful thing about this deck and what is happening with this deck, Chris and you have done a wonderful job. If you have more of these decks, let me know. Um, this is it. It's not so expensive. It's 26 99 US dollars and it's 35 Canadian dollars. So Europeans who wants this deck, um, you have to go like on Amazon. I got this one from eBay. I'm an eBay specialist because of PayPal. PayPal and eBay is connected. So it's just so easy um, for me. I just use eBay, okay? And there's an eBay USA, an eBay German, okay? Okay, so... I'm not doing reclama for them, but uh, yeah. So it is um, absolutely beautiful. And what I so like about this deck, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I did um, open this deck because I was so blown away. I was waiting for it for months, months and months and months. I was waiting for this deck. And finally, I got this deck. It is going to be the August reading deck. So um, whoever wants to see more of this deck, check out the August reading. And what is just so um, beautiful about this deck is that inspiration, inspiration is that um, um, it has inspiration, the voice, emotion, and this is just absolutely fabulous. And I'm sorry because I've gone through the deck, I forget to, and then it have materialistic, and this is so powerful. Um, I love this deck because I'm a flower plower. I was born in the year of the flower power. And that gives me so much uh, 
real um, emotional um, balance to situations and that is just so good I love this deck because it reminds me the voice um, it reminds me of uh, what an original deck because we have changed and there is just so much things about the kings the horses um, you know and that is not really what life is all about and I think she has done an exceptional job I swear um, this is hundred percent this is ten plus this is hundred percent this is the way the new tarot decks should go I think people should take uh, a page out of her book so, um, this is um, the direction that I think that people who are about to create new decks uh, should go this direction because it is uh, a really inspirational deck I think she has done a beautiful beautiful job and before I even go in it I know I'm not being biased um, I'm really not being biased uh, this deck uh, is a 10 this deck is a 10 plus no one can take this away from you christine and because you have done an incredible incredible job you have done a really incredible job and this is so beautiful so um i am so blown away i was so blown away by this deck which was unbelievable I am in, I'm not that easily impressed a lot of people know that I'm not very easily impressed but um, um, she has uh, created so much really really so much um, and she has given this deck just uh, so much that I am one of those people um, I give the I give people what it, what they deserve and um, truly I am so inspired and I have never ever seen because each and every deck and this is what people do not know each and every deck has a certain information and connection okay the mouse of the material and the really strange thing and what has blown me away with this deck is that this deck shows uh, just a lot it's like a lot of uh, things that you don't see in other decks okay I know I'm wearing these crazy glasses today but I got to because you will not know what has happened so I gotta wear my crazy glasses today and um, this is the energy of the full the five uh, 15 is the energy of the devil then we have 13 then we have the Sun which is 19 um, so with the Sun but ladies and gentlemen you um, if you are like me you're definitely going to be blown away from this deck because I was like okay all right ladies and gentlemen this is what a deck should looks like and I do and I should say to people be grateful of what uh, you know how people can create um, these new decks because it has so much new passion that is going to be coming up uh, and um, that a lot of people um, can share there is just so much passion um, so much things that is transpiring um, so much changes especially in tarot deck uh, and I do really think that we needed these changes because a lot of us we were just going with the same old things and we needed to create like better sense of uh, direction okay and these decks are going to be i can i know i'm going to be using this often because of the wonderful experience that this deck has to share it is a beautiful deck and uh, we have to give uh, um we definitely definitely um have to give it and i know a lot of people are saying let me see it let me see it okay i'm coming i got it i got it got it got to get it because I, I like to get them in order all right ladies and gentlemen the new deck the mouse okay the tarot deck the mouse okay so this is absolutely absolutely fabulous 
so welcome to the energy of the fool we are doing this is the energy of the fool look how beautiful this is i wanted this to do um without the lights i'm going to take the lights off and see if um it is good without the lights okay um so this is the energy of the deck um, I think it is so beautiful. So I'm doing this without light, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a matte deck. It doesn't have any um, changes, so it's a matte deck. So when you look at the energy of the full, this is so beautiful. And look at the back of the card, which is just absolutely, it was brilliantly, brilliantly done. It was nicely done, nicely properly done. It is such an amazing an amazing deck and if you look at the sand the sun the sky beneath and the sands and this is um just really wonderful and uh i can imagine the mind of uh, um, the person who was doing this because it was absolutely brilliant the way they thought about it this beautiful woman walking over the sand but yet still it's a new horizon that is coming up and it's just so beautiful then we look at the energy of the magician and the energy of the magician is just super, super powerful. What is so um, coming out at me with these cards is um, the colors, the alignment of colors. And I like the way the, the, the typographic that she used is just absolutely fabulous. Whoever um, that worked with her on this, this is, this is just absolutely beautiful. Um, then we are looking at the energy of the Empress and the, um, the Eye Princess and the Empress. How beautiful. And this is without light because I decided to do it without light. Look at the energy of the Eye, the Eye Princess. Isn't this beautiful? It has so much characteristic um, because we look as we look at the Eye Princess, she has the energy of the moon. And then there is something that is written right around the eye princess. And this is about mysticism. This is about creating and having mysticism. And this is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Then we look at the energy of the empress. Another wonderful energy that is coming up with the empress. And I love this because the empress is like the mother. It's a nurturing person. It's a person who thinks about their responsibility which is just absolutely absolutely fabulous and this is just one of those time when you really just completely completely just give in yourself to this energy how beautiful that um that was done the emperor and i love the energy because she used a lot of feminine energy and this is really a deck that is very feminine and this is about the beauty of women it doesn't really matter what color hair you are. It doesn't really matter what color person you are. It's about the feminine energy that is coming in. And as I change the shift of this card, how oh, beautiful um, this is coming up. Then we have the Aerophant. And I'm so happy. The Aerophant is changed. It's a woman sitting down. It's a woman who is at the head of a corporation. It's a woman who has her things going. It's about thinking, the thoughts. It's about the opening. Um, it is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful energy. You know, we always have the air vent uh, in the energy of uh, the organization institutes it. And look at this. It's about she lightened the way forward. So obviously, it's a government organization institution. Then we have the energy of the lovers. And isn't this absolutely fabulous? Um, we're going in. Yeah. So look at this with the lotus. And if you guys notice on some of my video, I use this flowers. And if you notice the lotus here and then there's other flowers here. And I think, yeah, I'm someone who loves flowers. I All my perfumes are like flowers. Okay. So... <laughs> If, if you if someone walk past you and you look and they look like me it's me it's flowers i love my all my perfumes have to be um in flowers okay 
then we have the energy of the chariot and this is one of the most brilliant brilliant way that she has done this with the energy of the chariot this is a wonderful really really wonderful supreme um person that is coming out and look at the light that is coming from her solar chakra showing the way ahead and this is absolutely gorgeous with always the energy of the horse but it's as if she's bringing light moving forward bringing light and this is good then we look at the energy of, of strength and this is absolutely fabulous um really a blessing absolutely a blessing i love this instead of she's trying to tame the beast she sit on top of the beast with the energy of the moon in the background in the desert with the sun ma'am christina you have done a fabulous fabulous job i am so proud of you this is a beautiful deck then we have the energy of the hermit and this is what i'm always saying to people the energy of the hermit is about going within and is about light is been shed on something that you were trying to figure out. This is the energy of the hermit. And she has depict this energy in a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful way. And you have to say, um, you know, a blessings, blessings to the person who has gotten the vision in order to create these cards. So the Wheel of Fortune is another beautiful, beautiful energy. I love this deck. I, I, I really never realized that it was such a feminine deck, but it is such a beautiful feminine deck. And it has to do with, um, the, the, um, the Wheel of Fortune. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, it's about taking about taking um, back your power. It's about your luck is coming in. This is absolutely wonderful. Then we have justice. And I love the strength of justice. Look at all of that. Look at the light. Look at the shedding of what is transpiring. This is beautiful. And if you look behind, there is symbols. If some of you can see, there is some sort of a symbol that is here and look at the energy this is absolutely beautiful it's someone face and if you notice the symbols there is the white box and the black box it's beautiful and this is about balancing the justice of um whatever is transpiring then we have the energy of the mouse and the hangman and this is gorgeous the mouse and the hangman and um this is good, as you notice, and I love this thing, um, because it has the energy of the sun. And the hangman, the the man in these decks, the king and the queen, the, the kings, or the mouse, the moose, M-U-S-E, the kings or the moose, and it says the hangman, and it says the hang moose. And this is a woman, beautiful woman, um, with white hair, and a really a really beautiful oh my god okay so this is that this is what i've always said to people debt is about transition okay so it's the caterpillar coming to the butterfly becoming a butterfly so it's all about transition it's all about changes and she is depict these in such a beautiful wonderful way then we see um trans um temptation um balancing um temperance balancing isn't this beautiful this is really the energy of a virgo trust me this is the energy of a scorpion a scorpion is always um changing and this is really the energy of the virgo that is really beautiful it's just balancing out who you are and the personalities that is coming in now we have the energy of the devil and I always said it's bondage and that is so nicely done. The energy of bondage that is coming up and this is so an unexpectedly um, beautiful energy of bondage that is coming up. I love the energy of the tower, ladies and gentlemen. The tower is absolutely fabulous. This is the energy of the tower. I love this. It's not the blown up thing. It's not the um, the issue, the stuff of things blowing up all around you. This is the energy of the tower and it's beautiful. 
so a, a wonderful alignment of energies and i'm really really loving um this um with the energy of the tower and all of that what is happening and transpiring let me um fix my hair um that is happening and transpiring we also have the energy of the star and this energy of the star is so beautiful it's unbelievable it's beautiful it has a positive alignment of energy a positive alignment of light that is coming in then we have the enemy the <laughs> the enemy the energy of the moon the energy of the moon so this was the sun and then we have the energy of the moon but all right no this is um sorry guys this is a star uh, this is a star. Do you see as the light takes it? That's why I turned the light out. And then we have the energy of the moon. Now, this is so um, really detect. This is like a moon ritual. So this is absolutely fabulous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's as if it is a moon rituals. And this is beautiful. Then we have the energy of the sun. Wow. Isn't this fantastic? Isn't this good? This is an absolutely brilliant um, energy of the sun that is coming out. I do love this. It's about regaining your energy. If you notice, every time I turn it, it has yellow, it has orange. It takes up the color that it picks in up from the um, window is open. So this is just so beautiful. Then we have the awakening um, and this awakening comes up with a black woman and it's as if she's opening up the doors um, to awaken humanity. So this is actually very, very beautiful. It's a really beautiful energy that is coming in and it was really transpired. Then we have the world, the cosmos. Number 21, the world, the cosmos. And this is one of the most beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, this is really the energy of a Capricorn woman standing there and really taking on the world. And this is absolutely fantastic. So I do love this. I said it before I started. It's a 10 plus. And it's really a 10 plus. It's as if, if I didn't have to use them, I wouldn't use them. It is really a 10 plus. So, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to start with? We have inspiration. We have the voice, and the voice is uh, the air sign people. So we are going to be starting out with the voice. So it has voice, it has inspiration, it has emotion, and it has materialists. And it is very good. The voice is some deceptiveness at play, whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, the voice is always about deceptiveness, the queen, the knight, okay, the page, um, the three of uh, swords, the nine, okay. Then we have the mouse is the king, and we have the voice, uh, we have ten of swords, uh, four of swords, and we have five of swords, so four of swords, five of swords, we have two of swords, we have three of swords, and then we are going to be fine, and okay, so here we go, so okay, so we're looking at the air sign energy of this deck, so um, if you just come in, we are um, um, reviewing the mouse, mouse deck, okay, so this is the ace of voice and this is the ace of sword this is a beautiful wonderful deck um as you see the white owl it is wisdom and understanding it is beautiful this is how it looks this is definitely how it looks this is beauty that is coming up and it is a really positive the two of swords and i said to people it's all about binding it's all about seeing the truth it depends on how the card fall uh, and what is before the card behind the card this is absolutely absolutely fabulous uh, this is the two of swords so uh, oopsie daisy yep this was the two of swords so um then we are looking at the three of swords uh, and it's as if you're seeing truth to a situation if you notice the eyes the tears and the sadness 
um this is definitely the energy of the three of swords the eyes the tears and the sadness is definitely the energy of the two of swords then um we have the energy of the four of voice and the energy of the four of voice is really really positive it is a positive alignment of energy. It's about you going within and thinking, listening to your higher wisdom about an issue and a situation. And this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Then we have the energy of the five of swords. And the five of swords energy is about two faces. It's about conflicts. It's about communicating conflicts that is coming up and two, having two faces. And this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So, then we have the energy of the six of swords when you realize there is an end that is coming to an issue in a situation that has been happening, has been transpiring. The end is here. It's really happening and it is really, really coming to an end. And this is beautiful. Then we have the seven of voice and it depends on which direction and however it um, turns up. And this is absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful. It is about deceptiveness because if you notice, it's the shadow side of something. It's the shadow side of a person. So it depends on how it falls in a reading and this is beautiful. The eight of voice is about you um, not seeing something clearly and it depends on um, the reverse side that you realize uh, the truth about a situation. So um, this is it. Then we have the nine of swords and we see you're down, you're out. You feel as if you're beaten down and you're down and out and you're realizing how this is uh, um, transpiring. So it's a really, really beautiful energy. And if you look at the nine of swords and the ten of swords, you can see that you were really, um, it's not the energy of just being stabbed in the back. It's that you're falling over a lot of things where these are issues where people speak badly about you but these are just absolutely absolutely beautiful they are fabulous what is transpiring the energy of the 10 of um um voice that is coming in and it's absolutely fabulous the page of voice is here it's a beautiful beautiful energy whatever is happening and transpiring with it um you are seeing this um um energy of the page of voice so this is the um, information or information that is coming at you that you're going to be receiving. So this is wonderful. The night of voice, a very beautiful. This is news coming in at a speed. Um, a very beautiful. Um, she does it really. It's as if she is thinking about what I'm thinking. Very beautiful. The queen of voice. Uh, um, this is it. The queen of voice rules. Rules with... Uh, um, there is so much thought, so much in it, and the mouse, the mouse. And this is just so beautiful because the mouse is always in this direction and all the rest of the cards are upright, but the mouse is always in um, the horizontal, vertical, the vertical. So everything is um, horizontal, but the mouse is always in the vertical position. So isn't this beautiful? I love this deck. So we're going to be moving on to the inspirational deck, the inspiration, and you can program your cards. I don't know if people do that, but I do program my cards. Um, and the inspiration is the energy of uh, the ones, okay? So I use the inspiration as the energy of the ones. Um, that's how, um, like, a people... Um, use um, their decks in different ways and not a lot of people know because just people just want to do what other people are doing but there are ways and means of um, doing certain things and I do it in the way where I basically create um, and program all my cards and um, this is good I'm sorry guys I'm just getting them um, to get together so we have eight okay then we have two um we have four um okay so we have the fire three 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 two four five 
okay so we got them together i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen but i i had to go through them it was just absolutely fabulous so let's go these are the energy of inspiration the ace of inspiration i think they are so beautiful this is the ace of information so there's news um of positive endeavor that is coming in and this is just so beautiful i love i just so love these cards and then we have the two of inspiration which is the two of ones where an offer could be coming in um you see the telescope um someone is thinking about offering you something and this is going to be beautiful then we have the three of inspiration and this is absolutely wonderful it's as if uh, you have achieved something it's the domino effect and now it's time to move on so i do do really really love this uh, beautiful deck um christine han you have done a really really good job four of inspiration really gorgeous really good really supporting five of inspiration is here it's just absolutely fabulous um you can see this energy how really beautiful and uh, there are just so positive in alignment of energy um the five of inspiration it's all about the five of ones it's all about conflicts but people are trying to work out the conflicts together then I have the six of ones, and this is what I always say to people, the six of ones is all about victory and success. There is a star over her head and the nine of cups, all of the, um, the, the energy of uh, um, being victorious and successful. And this is a really wonderful way with her little um, chickies at the end that is dancing around her the foot. There it is. It's so absolutely fabulous. So so i really love this deck so um seven of inspiration it's when you're going in uh, okay it's you're standing your grounds you're going in and you're standing your grounds in order to create a lot of uh, possibilities in your life and then we have the eight of inspiration the eight of ones a lot of business I always say to people this means that a lot of business is going to be coming through this is just going to be absolutely fabulous so this is another beautiful way of showing you the energy of the eight of ones so then we have the nine of inspiration and the nine of inspiration is about you standing strong protecting yourself and if you notice the protection behind there it's as if the, this lady went in my head i can't draw i have no idea but this is just absolutely fabulous it's absolutely beautiful okay this is the ten of ones and the ten of ones energy it's about oh page of ones i'm sorry let's look for the ten of ones energy ten of inspiration okay so the 10 of inspirations because we see the nine of inspiration and this is really wonderful and this is really positive then we have the 10 of inspiration and this is so good and if you notice um these are the burdens that is a burden in the hands and the next is going to be going over so this is absolutely um fabulous it's just so beautiful i am so amazed um at this so then we have the page of inspiration and this is um the page is about news is coming in it's about new ideas it's about new things that are going to be happening and transpiring and it's absolutely wonderful then we move on to the night of inspiration the night of inspiration the nights are always coming in coming in with new ideas new things uh, that is going to be happening and transpiring so this is absolutely fabulous um what is happening then we have the queen of inspiration and i do love this i should say i do love this i love the strong features i love how she chooses people with faces with strong features and this is really a queen of one um features that is coming up this is absolutely really a, the queen of one who is coming up with the features and then we have the king of one and the king is always the most the most um the mouse and absolutely fabulous um the um the king is vertical the queen is uh, or, um horizontal and this is just um absolutely absolutely 
fabulous this is just creating just new possibilities about using um these cards okay so this is the mouse and this is so wonderful new ideas that is happening in transparent i love this so um if you notice there is no hair there's no rods and that sort of a thing and um, the rods is actually the inspiration um okay and that is really good so wonderful um possibilities that is going to be coming in which is just so good i love the way she depicts all the energies i think that she has really thought this out before she started and the energy of the mouse that is so in the vertical position which is just absolutely fabulous so however you look at this card deck i think um she's going to make a um, she's going to make really at it with these decks because trust me, these decks speak, these decks really, really like speak out at how the future, how we are going to be um, creating the future with new decks that is going to be coming in. So it is absolutely wonderful. I do love it. And uh, um, these decks, it has like the energy of... Uh, um emotions so we're going to be looking at uh, the energies of emotions and this is what i always say to you guys the cups energies are emotion so we have the first energy of uh, the ace of emotion where this is the offer of love and this is just absolutely good this is fabulous it is a wonderful positive energy a wonderful alignment of energy that is coming in then i we have the energy of the two of cups and uh, the energy of the two of cups is just absolutely positive emotions success is about happiness and joy the two of cups is about you know connecting with another person in a really really happy way and then we have the energy of the four of cups really it's about yeah drinking too much feeling bad the next day um that sort of an energy and it's about um uh, you know really people grouping up together and having a wonderful wonderful connection um with each other and that is good the energy of the four of cups you can see this i love the way she did it it is absolutely beautiful now the five of cups is another twist to this old cycles of the emotion because the five of cups is about dream um you know really draining in your um emotional situation and that is something where a lot of people does this the six of cups is about friendship it's about connecting it's about friendship and so after the five of cup energies you reconnect and healing yourself with friendships and whatever was going on then um we have the energy of the seven of cups and it's always about so much to choose from um the six of cups was there with friends and connection and then the seven of cups is about so much to, to choose from it is always a really nice energy then we um this seven of cups is beautiful because it's all about the goldfish fish gold water it's all about money and then we have the eight of emotions now with the energy of the eight of emotions um, it's as if you're out in the desert. You're really out in the desert. Um, however, this is transpiring. You're, it's as if you're really out in the desert, not knowing where to go. And then the Nine of Cups is like, yeah, I've reached there. Um, this is good. I feel good. Um, the colors, the water, the healing of happiness and joy that you're feeling inside. And this is good. Then we have the energy of the 10 of emotions with a nine of after you have gone through that really happiness and joy, then you're healing with your family because the 10 of cups is always about family. It's all about connecting with the family. It's always being with the family. Then there is news of love that is coming in. And I just so love the way she does it. And with this red dress and this beautiful, it's all about love coming in. And this is absolutely fabulous. I really, really do love this. And we have the Knight, the Knight of Cups. This is the Romeo. This is the lover person. This is the lover guy um, that is coming up. This is the lover girl. This is the woman that will sweep you off your feet. But imagine she is, or this energy is in the energy of a horse. And if you notice the horse at a beautiful golden, um, 
uh, shell that is behind. So this is just absolutely powerful. The queen of emotions. Look at her. Beautiful. So we have the queen of emotion and the moose of emotion. So sometimes she has the right in upwards. So sometimes she has it downwards. But this is really a feminine deck and it's a beautiful, beautiful feminine deck. I am so blown away from this. I am, this is a 10 plus, um, absolutely. No question about it. It is definitely a 10 plus. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, it is one of, uh, um, the color is so beautiful. I wasn't aware that the color was so beautiful. Um, it's one of my t-shirts on the website. So if you, you like this color, it's a beautiful color. I really never realized it was when I was ordering it. Yes, you have to order your stuff. <laughs> I realized how really beautiful um, this color was, okay? So if you are wondering the color of this t-shirt, it's from my website. Um, um, this is from the Sensitive, the Star Seeds, uh, um t-shirts that is on my website so um it is um a beautiful collection because i have different collection also on the website so um you can go check that out so um a lot of people this um this color is really beautiful because not a lot of people can find this color so um check out my website i think you yeah check out my website below the video um check <laughs> check out below the video you can find um you can find um these colored t-shirts okay they're in my um collection so i'm going to also do a collection video about about um my um um my products also so um that is going to be coming up sometime in august i'm trying to get in all um the products for my um um and then you can you guys can get so this color is from my website all right so ace of material this is the ace of material it's beautiful i love it um, this is absolutely fabulous. I really love the way she did it. Then we have the two of material. So the ace of material, if you notice how very brilliant, there's more, um, coming in where it is uh, more powerful. And again, the two of pentacles, the two of material is all about money. It's all about changes, all about money. It's all about, uh, um rebuilding and as i always said the three of pentacles is always about rebuilding um um connecting with people and it's about merging and connecting with people and this is just absolutely absolutely fabulous so um really really fabulous um the four of pentacles is about you sitting um financial stability um financial stability is coming in and this is just so beautiful the way she depicted I couldn't have done a better job at it, okay? So I'm gonna try something and see how it really looks with the light on them, okay? So that's how it looks with the light on them. So we have the energy of the Five of Pentacles. This is the Four of Pentacles. It's fabulous. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Then we have the energy of the Six of Pentacles, which is another extremely good deck and if you notice the fives they are more with like a lot more people then we do this with the seven of pentacles i so love this it's about you building your own financial wealth and stability it's so gorgeous it's beautiful um then we have the eight of materialistic and this is about working it's about being busy it's about um creating and working um, stable, bringing stability, but a whole lot of work being very busy. And these are really, really just absolutely, um, fantastic. So I really love this. Um, then we have the nine of pentacles. This is good. It is positive. It's a positive alignment of energy. It's a powerful 
um, deck um, whatever you guys said I love the deck I love flowers the ten of pen um, Pentacles this is so absolutely amazing amazing ladies and gentlemen I love it I do so love it it's an amazing the page of material is just absolutely fabulous it's unusual it's good um, it's about bringing new um, monetary stability in your world if you look at how beautiful that flowers is that is about to come in and then we have the knight of Pentacles and if you notice the knights are always the horses okay and the men or the mouse so this is a really so <laughs> um beautiful look at this this is about um bringing in materialistic stability in your world and really appreciating what is happening and transpiring and now we come up with the queen and the mouse of pentacles the queen and the mouse of pentacles so I must say, and uh, um, this is so beautiful. Um, this is really um, a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, I have always um, wished for a deck like this. Um, this deck is uh, absolutely fabulous. I um, would advise you, I am giving it a 10 plus and I would advise you um, to have this deck in your collection, okay? Um, what I always do at, oopsie daisy, at every deck, what I always do is basically pull three cards, um, um, and um, this is uh, something I always like doing, especially when it is a new deck. I really like uh, um, creating and changing up and pulling cards and realigning energies so, okay so three so a message just popped out so um all right so we have the mouse of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles so what this is saying and the message for this deck is that this deck is going to be creating a lot of wealth um whether for the user or for the creator it is a deck that is going to be creating a lot of wealth so congratulations that is a beautiful message to come out because it's um you can see creators whoever um use this deck and whoever is going to be um um who have created this deck is going to be creating a lot of money so wonderful alignment of energies ladies and gentlemen um good energies good deck i love it again it is the mouse deck. It comes with a book. It is not the normal Taurus. It is, as um, she changes the name, so it is uh, emotional um, voice, emotional voice, inspiration, and monetary. Okay, so um, go pick up this deck. It is a beautiful deck. It is a 10 plus. I would have never given it less. It is one of the best deck. I think it should have gotten the deck of 2019. I think it came out last year. Um, it is the deck of 2019. It is one of the most beautiful deck that has been created. Uh, so please leave a, um, a message and um, share, share, share these videos. I love you guys. Namaste.